basic creations. I still remain the mannequin. So today we are going to draft a pattern on how to make your blazer dress. So guys, if guys, if you have not been following me on my blog, you guys are missing and missing a lot. I will drop the name of my blog here, so you guys will go and check everything all out by yourselves. And uh, so we have some amazing things coming up, and uh, I think we have to get started. Okay, from here, let me just show you what I did. Sorry that I lost that clip. So from here, I went down by 5 inches upwards. So this is like what I will use for my collar. Then from 5 inches, this is where I will start the basic body measurements. From here to 7 is my chest. Then 10 and half is my shoulder to nipple. Then 18. 18 inches is my waist, then my hip is uh, 27. I will go in by, let me just say 4 inch, 4 inches. Just go in by 4 inches. Here is 4, inch, four inches gap. I will not do, I will not touch here for now. So from this part is where I'm going to take my basic body measurement. So I'm going to go in by three by three inches. That's three inches length and three inches wide. So I have curved my neckline. So from here to here I'm going to measure seven and a half because it's a suit. So I have to add extra half inch to this. So seven and a half, and my show my uh, armhole is eight. So I'm going to add my okay from here. I'm going to my nose one point two five inch. From from there, I'm going to mark out my eight. And that eight is my armhole. So you guys will take note. So from here I will connect to my shoulder line. Yeah. And since my my armhole is eight, I have to divide it by two, which will give me four. So from here I'm going to go in with half an inch so I can be able to curve my armhole because this is the front pattern. So I'm through with the sleeve, I'm through with the neck, I'm okay remaining the bodies. So what I have to do to this is I have to I will add one inch from my hip depending where you want to start your where you want to start so i'll add one one inch and i want my i want my lapel to start from the waist i want to break my lapel from the waist so from here from this point this now this point will now be my break point so I'm going to make sure that it connects from here to this break point. So this is where I want it to break. That's why you, you are required to leave like 3 or 4 inches. So remember I added 1 inch from here. So the next thing you have to do to achieve your lapel is to here now becomes your so from here I will add one and a half inch I will add my one and a half so and I will go in by if you like I'm going by one inch one and a half or so so from this point now I'm going to okay let me just do it one inch one inch from this point, from this my normal leg, neck point, this is where my neck started. 
from this point i will raise it up to that one and a half or two inches depending on what you want so let's do it two inches and not one and a half to nowhere so from here i will raise my lapel up to this extent so i'll raise it up to this extent so from this point i'm going to join it here i'm going to join this this to this point then guys my lapel i'm true with my lapel and i'm also true with my shoulder and my my ample for my back collar i'm going to do it three and a half if you have excess you can cut it off so three and a half so from here i'm going to my nose half inch then connect the line to this point then mark half measure three and a half again to that point then depending on the length that okay from here i'll raise this pin up by half an inch then go in by half an inch also so from here from this point that i made i i went up from this point to half an inch and also go go in once by half an inch i will so from here i would like my my collar to i want my collar to to be a little bit up so i'm going to connect it here with this so that is how my collar will look like your blazer dress normally starts from your shoulder line for the that they normally have shoulder that so i'm going to divide my shoulder into two sorry that we didn't do this earlier but it doesn't mean so i'm going to divide my shoulder into two so this now will now lead us to this now will now lead us to slash and spread method so from here i'm going to measure my four remember that this line is the is the original line of our bodies remember just know the ones that know the line that is the original line always know the line that is the original line so i'm going to go up by half an inch and i'm one inch and go down by one inch also so here don't worry i will do slash and spread sorry this is supposed to stop at this one inch and my waist is going to also stop at this one inch gap i will connect it down here so yeah so my waist is going to be half an inch half an inch that's the normal that for waistline have a perfect so from here remember that your dance normally stops at 22 but this is going to be all the way down so because with this i'm working with one or two of my designs with this pattern draft i pray that you guys will enjoy this design and the shop with us so that is our basic that so from arm hole guys we are through with the collar and the lapel so let me explain again how to achieve this lapel 
this line is our basic line but before we let four inches gap from our center front from the center front you will leave like half inch gap so from that half inch gap from that four inches gap this is where you will start working where you will start working with your lapel and from that half inch at the down part i added half an inch to the waist because waist the point the waist point is where i want my lapel my break point to stop and not on my bust or on my chest or on my you can decide to it to stop at anywhere of your choice it's a matter of choice so by the design that i'm working on i want it to start to stop at the waist point so am i talking too much no so where you want your lapel to stop you will mark a point a dot line there then you will use a very long ruler and make sure that if the break point crosses the back of your neck this point here that connects the neck and the shoulder make sure that it crosses it with a slant straight line all the way to the, your break point and this interception is called your break point so from your neckline now this is original of our neckline from this original point as an uh, original front center front you have to go down by half an inch you have to go down by one inch see it's one inch gap and point it so from there this is the intercept here is the intercept from the the inter intercept of the break point and our neck curve so you have from that neck from that intercept you have to come you have to make a slant line so match that one inch one inch that you mark downwards from your neckline then depending on the choice of lapel the design of lapel you want to make is a matter of choice you can make your own to be slant like this is a matter of choice or you can make yours to be like a little bit down it's a matter of choice depending on what you want then but i want my own to go up like this like i love this design so much i will show you guys a picture of how i fell in love this kind of my inspiration picture and it's so so super excited and exciting and gorgeous so from this one inch i went up by 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 um 0 0.2 0 0.75 then go in by half an inch 0 0.25 gap 0 0.75 gap sorry 0 0.75 gap from here to here from my lapel to my collar to my blazer collar then i went in like this by half an inch then connect this with this to make my collar and to know how it, it will look like so yep because I have to redraw all these things. Reason is that when I will mark my when I will open my shoulder, my shoulder that I will have no other option but to redraw my that. So from my ample, the difference between my front and my back is two inches. So two inches is here. So I will mark again two inches and divide it by by two so from this point i will mark one inch one inch gap and then that one inch gap i'm going to connect it to this and then draw my draw my don't make sure that it doesn't surpass that one inch then draw my dots guys but this that i'm going to transfer this that to my shoulder that i don't want this that to be here so when i close this that it will come here so for example here is like a perfect example of the let me just confess this is like an example of what i did before before coming here to show you guys how you can achieve a blazer jacket with your lapel and your collar so this is exactly what i did 
so but it's like a fresh a fresh note so i opened my darts here so let me just show you i opened my darts here so i will have something like this okay let me cut out the my So this is my uh, that's my ample you can see it's the same thing as this one it's the same thing as this one that I'm showing you guys so that's when you close it then your shoulder that's or any place you want your that to be you will just do slash and spread method and it will open because I want my dad to start from the shoulder that's why I slash it and open it so I will have something like this and also have something like this when working so since I have achieved this all I have to do is to curve is to curve my is to curve my dad the way I want it to be so when I do slash and spread method, I will have a perfect and perfect, 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 perfect armhole. So guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to drop your comments if you don't understand anything that I said. If I'm working on this, I will explain again how you can achieve your lapel and your collar when drafting or when making a a blazer dress so see you guys